Sometimes saving money takes a lot of effort and it involves creating complex budgets, analyzing expenses, and going without certain things. But other times, saving money takes no effort at all. All you have to do is become aware of the different strategies and implement them in your life. And so in this video, I'm going to share 15 ways that you can save money that literally take no effort, but can add up to $6,830 a year. And so let's begin. One, gas buddy. The average American uses 656 gallons of gas a year, which adds up to $2,624. In one effortless way to save money is just to download the app Gas Buddy, which will show you the cheapest gas in your area, and sometimes prices can range from up to 50 cents a gallon. And whenever your tank is close to empty, simply pull up the app on your phone and find the cheapest gas near you. And if you can save 50 cents a gallon, this can add up to $328 a year in savings. Two, buy a water bottle and bring it everywhere. According to Statistica, the average American consumes 353 bottles of bottled water a year, which can add up to $494.24 a year. Go on Netflix and watch the show Rotten and their special on bottled water. And when you understand how wicked the bottled water industry is, you will never buy a bottle of water again. And this expense can be totally avoided if you just go out and buy a reusable bottle of water like this one, fill it up and bring it wherever you go. And if you're concerned about tap water, just get yourself a filter. But this one thing can save you $494 a year. Three, ditch the paper towels. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. The only time I use paper towels is when I'm making bacon or cleaning the toilet. Those are the only two things that I think you actually need paper towels for. And before some of y'all start commenting and saying, you're telling me I shouldn't clean my house to save money, you cheap ass, I'm unsubscribing, that is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that you should get yourself some of these, which are called rags. Use them to clean down things, dry your hands. You can save a roll of paper towels every single week, adding up to $130 a year in savings. Four, don't get sodas at restaurants. When I was a kid, my family didn't have tons of money growing up, but once a month we all went to a restaurant to get a meal. And one thing my parents would do to lower the bill was not allow us to get sodas and just get water for everyone. And if you can do this one tiny thing for a family of five, cutting out the sodas can cut off $15 from the bill. And whenever you go out to eat, if you always get water and never get sodas, you can lower your bill by about 10%. I mean, for one person, if you were to cut out sodas and just get water once a week, that would add up to $156 a year of savings. Five, paying cash to avoid the tip screen. Now, this one might get me some angry comments, but I can take the hit, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't noticed, whenever you go to a self-service restaurant, like getting a cup of coffee, or an ice cream, or fast food, or takeout, once it's time to pay, the cashier will smile, turn the tablet around, and say, it's just gonna ask you a little question. And I ain't afraid to say it. We're living in a world with a bunch of entitled Gen Z baristas expecting a 30% tip on a $7 cup of coffee. When I was a barista, I was making $7.25 an hour. These Gen Z baristas now are making $15 an hour and have a huge sense of entitlement with tips. But one way I avoid this pressure is I simply paying cash at these places. When you pay in cash, you avoid the question altogether. You still kind of feel like a jerk, but if you do that three times a week, that will add up to $156 of savings. Six, get a case for your sunglasses. 
Most of us have sunglasses, but most of us do not take good care of our sunglasses and just throw them around in our backpack or in our glove box and get a new pair every few months. But this can add up to over a hundred dollars a year in just wasted sunglasses. But if you get yourself a hard case like this one and get in the habit of putting them in the case instead of just throwing them around everywhere, your glasses will last you much longer. And this can add up to over $80 of savings a year. Seven, get a lower megabits per second for your internet. Most internet companies charge in something called megabits per second. And this can be a very misleading thing because having a higher megabits per second doesn't necessarily mean that your internet is faster. What it means is that you can run multiple devices on it without it slowing down. For a family of four, having a speed of 200 to 400 megabits per second will probably serve you fine. And for two people, having a speed of 100 megabits per second will probably serve you fine. So check your plan to see how much megabits per second you're paying for. And if it's too high, you can just lower it and you can save $10 a month, which can add up to $120 of savings a year. Eight, get your own modem and router. To continue on this subject of the internet, one thing that evil companies like Xfinity do, mostly to older people, is make you think that you need to borrow their modem for $15 a month in order to have internet. If you're renting a modem from your internet provider, you're getting ripped off because you can buy a much better modem for under $90 that will last you for years. And I put a link to one in the description that will probably serve most people fine. But doing this one action of getting your own modem router can save you $180 a year. Nine, don't eat meat two times a week. When it comes to food, one of the most expensive things that you'll buy at the grocery store is meat, chicken, beef, pork. And if you're consuming a chicken breast a day, which most Americans do, that adds up to $730 a year. Eating meat every single day isn't necessary. And if you can cut out some of your meat consumption, you'll actually be doing your body a favor. And if you just cut out meat two times a week, that can add up to $210 of savings a year. 10, only go to the grocery store once a week. Another effortless way that you can save money on groceries is to get in the habit of doing all your grocery shopping once a week. Because by doing this, you save money two ways. Gas to and from the store and not buying extra things you didn't plan on getting. If instead of going to the grocery store three to four times a week, you just go once to be more strategic with your planning, I can guarantee you that you will save at least $10 a month, which adds up to $110 of savings a year. 11. Switch to Mint Mobile. If you're spending more than $15 a month on your cell phone bill, you're spending too much because Mint Mobile has plans between $50 and $30 a month. And you might be wondering what the catch is. Well, Mint Mobile uses the T-Mobile signal, but is in second priority. So if you go to a festival and there's an abnormal amount of people in one location, T-Mobile will cut off Mint to make more service available for their customers. In my four years with Mint Mobile, this only happens about once a year. And if you're willing to put up with this inconvenience once a year and just switch to Mint Mobile, you can save $420 a year on your cell phone bill. Affiliate link in the description. 12. Bring sandwiches to work for lunch. Watch how crazy this is. The average meal at a restaurant nowadays is $15. And many people go out to eat for lunch every single day when they're working, which adds up to $3,750 a year. But if instead you chose to make a sandwich with chips and fruit that costs around $3, that would only add up to $750 a year, which is $3,000 a year in savings. I basically paid my way through college by bringing sandwiches to school. And if you can spend five minutes in the morning to just prepare a sandwich with some chips and some fruit, that ultimately can save you $3,000 a year. 
13. Use a cash back credit card. Now, this one is only for people who have the self-control to have and pay off a credit card each month. But I put pretty much every single purchase I have on my credit card and just paid off at the end of the month. And by doing this one little thing, I get 1.5% cash back on all my purchases, which usually adds up to $216 a year. And if you have the self-control to pay off your credit card every single month, that's another $216 a year in savings. 14. Create a running queue of books at your library. I love to read, but I don't really like to own books, mainly because I don't want the clutter, but also because I can just check them out of the library. And what I do is that once a month, I create this running queue of books at my local library that I want to read so that they become available throughout the month and I don't have to buy books. And by doing this, I can save over $220 a year. 15. Go to the gym three times a week. Now, going to the gym is something that most people wouldn't consider effortless. However, when you think about it, it's much less effort than what most people do because most people spend hours every single week picking up prescriptions, scheduling and going to see their doctor, feeling bad, filling out paperwork, dealing with insurance companies, and paying the bills. Dealing with all this healthcare or sick care stuff is very time consuming. And if you just prioritize going to the gym just three days a week for one hour, you can avoid so much of this stuff because you'll be in much better shape. And there is really no telling how much money you will save by being in good shape. But let's just be conservative and say that you can save $1,000 a year, bringing our total to $6,820 a year in savings. And those are my 15 effortless money saving hacks. And with that, muchas gracias, que tenga un buen día, video, I don't know, no vemos.